Hey, welcome back to the 5x8 teardrop for my wife and I. So not built for us. What I'm going to do today, I'm going to put a 110 volt LED light in um, so that I don't have to run the battery down when I'm plugged into shore power. I'm going to take a 7 8 inch drill bit. The only place I don't have an access for electricity is and this shelf is here. So what I want to do is I'm going to take this and I want to mount it. Actually, I'm not even going to mount it. I'm just going to plug it in and let it just sit up here so I can move it back and forth depending on if it's in the way of something or not. And then I can run the wire down through here, back up through here. And right here I have a little piece of foam, so this is squeezed through the foam to uh, thwart mosquitoes and bugs and whatever. Uh, and get my shipping blanket, moving blanket laid out to catch some, catch any dust I might make. And I don't want to make a mess here, right, so we're going to cut it. Right about in the center of that. That's a lot of dust. off um, it looks like a lot worse than what it is with this light on the drill but what I don't want to do is I, mean, I don't mind cleaning the filter it's not a big deal I could have cut this before I put it all together, but you know, there's some things you do after after the build is done. So I'll take my little piece of sandpaper and I'll kind of curl it up a little bit, run through the top. And knock those sharp edges off. And later on, I'm not a polyurethane right now, but later on when I get some more polyurethane, I'll urethane this because what I don't want is for whatever reason, if there's any moisture in here, I don't want it to. Don't want it to get in. There we go. And you can see it to the mess I made here from the shipping blanket and inside there. Alright, so now make sure I got this um, good for you guys. Just take this out of the box. Um, this was it's a commercial electric. Got it from Home Depot. 14 bucks. And you can pull the tab out of this end and run them in series. And it's LED. So, won't burn much electricity. Not that it really matters because you should be at a should be at a campground, or you run off generator. And you know, if you run off generator, then I guess it would matter some. This is your mounting brackets. I'm not going to mount it because I want the ability to be able to move it about. And it comes with this extra pigtail so you can put it in here and run it to the next light. 
in the event this is not enough light for you. Alright, so get that loose. We'll push this up through here and then plug it in. And then I can run it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run it back through here, take some slack out, and then get it up out of the way. But for right now, I'm going to go ahead and take advantage of this so I don't have to go outside and jump back in the trailer for you guys so y'all can see where we're going to be at. So it has a one, two, three settings. Let me turn this overhead LED off, the 12 volt one. Yeah, I'm groaning because I'm old. So I can take this and I can actually move it around and turn it around backwards. Like that. View. So there's a there's a lower color, brighter color, and whiter color, and on, off, low, high, and you can go through the colors on low and high, which is perfect. That's more than enough light for something a travel trailer so small. So, yeah, what I'll do is I'll just, I'll run this wiring right up here through that. I may even take, uh, cut it in half or cut all my slack out of it so that I can get rid of um, extra wire because I don't like a lot of wire clutter. So I guess the next thing is to do here will be get the shop back, shop back this out and clean it up a little bit. There we go. 14 bucks for a really nice light. I like that. And if it's not enough light, which I believe it is, I can always um, put that pigtail on the other end, put it way over here, and put another one over there. So, heck yeah. All right. I appreciate y'all watching. Thanks to my subscribers and thanks to my uh, viewers.